you got to fight it. You got to fight it every day. You wouldn't have wanted to been around here this morning when the phone was ringing off the wall every five seconds. <laughs> I meet a lot of people that say, what do you do? And I say, well, I'm an ag consultant. I say, what is that? So my reply is, what do you do when you go see your family practitioner when you're sick? I go in, he examines me, writes me a prescription. I go to the drugstore, I get it filled, I take it, I feel better. I do the exact same thing, I just do it with crops. That's what I do. I kind of grew up on a family farm with my dad being a BOAG teacher, but I always, uh, was always around it. I always loved being around tractors and the animals and all that kind of stuff. I'm an outdoorsy person, loved to hunt and fish. I was fortunate enough to, to get to go to Fayetteville, went into the, to the ag college. I probably could have made a little bit better grades than I made, but I did manage to graduate. Graduated in a, in a pretty poor time and not a lot of jobs, certainly not not the distributors, retailers, technology that we have today in ag. So I had the opportunity when I was working on my master's to work with a, a consultant here in town. I always loved that desire, that kind of research feel, but I, I'm a people person. I like I, I like the production. I like trying to think real fast, and, and that's part of all part of consulting. Long story short, he, uh, he had an opportunity to move back. Uh, to go with Family Farm. I took over the business and I think this is my 24th year and been doing it ever since and hope I got a few more years left in me. I can tell you a story about everything hanging on the wall in here. I really began consulting through, uh, I would call it an, an apprenticeship, okay? I had the fortune of, of working for a, a basic manufacturer when I was going to college during my summertime in field research. So I was very aware of herbicides and how they worked and what weeds they would kill and which one did the best on certain weed species. So my neighbor down the road, he was a, a, a small farmer and he said, I'm having trouble in my soybeans with certain weeds. Can you ride with me and look and kind of help me decide what herbicide to use. And that kind of led the, to the beginning of some of my consulting work. Probably, I, I may have been 19 years old that, that first year. I had made a tremendous amount of friends over the years. Agriculture is not this big. Agriculture is this big. You know, one of the things that I talked to kids about is it, it's not about tractors and farming and jacked up trucks and mud tires. One of the things that I always carry with me is a Rawlings baseball bat. And I carry a, a bag of stuff with me. And I carry put that baseball bat on my shoulder and the kids will look at me like I'm crazy. Like, I thought you were coming up here to talk to us about farming. I am. Some tree farmer grew that tree so Rollins could come to them to buy that tree to make this baseball bat out of. Number two pencil, a toothpick, soybeans that go in the Diet Cokes, the syrup, the sugar cane grower. Man, it is huge. And then I'll pull out my phone and I'll start looking at all my apps right here. There's some kid sitting somewhere in Fayetteville, Arkansas that probably made one of these and they're all agricultural apps. So it's not about a tractor and a farmer and planting a seed and harvesting it anymore. It's about everything that goes with it and it's as far as your mind wants to wander. I, I really think agriculture in general, if you put the whole term agriculture together, I think it probably has the most job opportunity than any other field out there. Soybean checkoff dollars in the state, even from a consultant standpoint, are huge. Not only are those dollars used for promotion, but for the majority of those dollars are used for research and grant projects that are done through the local universities. And then that research work is passed down to us, they're passed down to our local county agents. And without that work from those checkoff dollars, we, we wouldn't be where we are today in soybean production without them. I have yet to meet a person in agriculture that says, I hate my job and I wish I didn't do it. If you're in agriculture, you love what you're doing. 